Okay, my name is Mr Nightingale. I'm a member of the PE department, uh, an experienced, uh, interesting, exciting, dynamic department, a mixture of age and experience, uh, which deliver high quality PE lessons uh, across the association um, for A-level PE. So the A-level PE um, subject that we deliver is a two-year course and it's broken down into four units. So the four units that you'll study uh, are three theoretical units and one practical unit. Essentially, I'll just give you a bit of information about the theoretical units first and then we'll talk about the practical side, the best side, the bit we enjoy the most. The theoretical aspect, uh, the first unit is anatomy and physiology. So we look at bones, muscles, structure, fibre types, coordination, contraction. We also look at biomechanics and exercise physiology. So how we train, why we train, we make it really real. We also look at the psychology of sport. So we look at personality traits, dynamics, team dynamics, um, what makes a skill and how we can improve it. Uh, really interesting, intricate detail on sports people and how they work and how they get motivated, their arousal, their aggression. So psychology section is really interesting. There's also um, a social cultural aspect, which is unit three, looking at the history of sport, but more relevant, more, more importantly, we look at how sports changed over, over recent years, the effect on uh, businesses, how sports changed with commercialization, uh, sponsorship and how it's become a, a business more than just a sport. So they're the three theory aspects that we look at across the two years. The fourth unit is the practical unit. So the practical unit we assess you um, and give you a mark and a grade and a level based on your performance and how well you perform. So we look at what sport you play and the level at which you play and we'll assess that. Also and the bit I enjoy the most is the 15% where you watch a sport, you watch a performer, it's called the EAPI, uh, and it's the evaluation and analysis for performance and improvement. And you watch a performer play or take part in their sport or compete. And then you look at their strengths and their weaknesses, you analyze them, and then you look at how you can improve them. So you have to give a detailed action plan on how they improve. So that's the content, that's the relevance um, within, the, within lessons that, that we deliver. Uh, in an interesting and, and usually practical where we can way. Uh, the assessment is based heavily with the um, anatomy and physiology being 30% uh, of the overall final grade, the psychology being 20% and the social cultural being 20%. That leaves 30% for the practical. So if you're really sporty and performing at an international, national level, then you can have 15% of your mark in the bag already. That's the assessment side of it. So the entry requirements for the course, you'll probably see in the booklets and in information online that it's level fives across um, your GCSEs. I think it's really important to make you aware that obviously we prefer to be sixes and higher for those people that uh, achieve and do really, really well. But importantly, that you take part in sport to a high standard. We have consistently shown over the previous years uh, outstanding level of achievement and pass rate across the course uh, with A stars and A's achieved throughout the year groups which have passed through. That also intermingles with the high level of performance of students we have. Currently we've got international rugby league players playing for England, Scotland, Wales. We've also got um, Olympic athletes within our cohorts um, and performers on Talent England, Talent ID. So the standard of performer the elite level that we have within our cohorts is phenomenal and it's really a pleasure to work with those sort of students. Those students have taken the, this option because they want to go on to universities, medics courses, they um, understand the fact that the points they get with the A-level PE and the content and the difficulty of the course actually is seen by universities which can take you into different avenues and careers. For example, the sports courses being an obvious route, sports nutrition, sports psychology, um, looking at sports business and management. And then we also have the physiotherapists, PE teachers. There's the wide variety of careers, but also now other lines of um, career choice paths, they look to see what you do 
outside of academic subjects, so-called, and look to see what you've got around that, the subjects that you take. So they enjoy and actually appreciate the subject choice of physical education. We've got students which continue to ring us, who are now at university, and ask us to help them out with their university courses. So we still have that relationship. I think the final really important thing to say is, for me, the biggest pleasure I have is the community spirit and the cohesion that we build within PE. So our A-level PE courses have such a strong learning environment where we support each other, challenge each other, because it's tough, the content, the theory is hard, but actually we work really hard in a competitive situation throughout the theory and the practical to really strive to improve and get the grades that we wanted to get onto universities and then some sporting careers. A-Level PE's current success has been absolutely phenomenal uh, with students who are performing at elite levels. So our current cohorts got rugby league players from England, Scotland, Wales performing on the international stage. We've also got uh, students, candidates within the cohort who are competing in the Olympics um, or on England talent identification schemes as well as playing and performing at representative level for Yorkshire in football, rugby um, and cricket. So the, the level of performance within the cohort is exceptional, it's absolutely outstanding and that's reinforced by the offers. We have extracurricular within sport, so the associated rugby team for example, one of the strongest team within the region. We've also got uh, football, basketball, cricket, netball, hockey. Um, a wide range of sports which you can take part in. So all of the, the things which underpin and, and run alongside A-level PE are, are phenomenal as well. Okay, uh, the, final, the final thing is where can you go with this award, with the course? Essentially, people who choose A-level PE choose it because they love it and it's a stepping stone to wherever they want to go. The obvious routes in terms of universities, looking at sports management, sports coaching, looking at sports nutrition, sports psychology. There's so many different routes and avenues and strands within the PE and the physical education, the sport that are catered for at universities. You also have the obvious physiotherapy courses, the PE teaching courses, which are extremely popular. 60% of our previous cohort end up at university studying sports courses. We also have candidates who are medics within our courses because they enjoy the relevance of the, the course and also they enjoy the aspect of it. So people who are looking at going to doctor's courses, um, they have, have chosen to do A-level PE as well and, and perform extremely well. And finally, the most important thing and aspect of the whole of PE to me, our delivery, our cohorts, our groups of students which go through gel really tightly. Uh, we look after each other, we support each other, we challenge each other because the content can be difficult, but ultimately there's such a supportive, effective learning environment established within the group that at the end of two years, everybody leaves as a really tight group of, of mates, of friends, but also people who've worked hard to achieve and, and every single one of them do achieve. We look forward to welcoming you to the Associated Sixth Form to study A-Level PE. If you have any further questions, feel free to get in touch.